Good morning, interwebs. It is 11.26 in the morning on, what day is it? Oh, today is Saturday the 12th of January. I have not vlogged in multiple days. I just got up and looked out the window and it is a snowy wonderland out there. I had set my alarm to get me up at 10 because I was going to get up earlier today, get some things done. But when my alarm went off, I heard <laughs> heard Steve and the kids downstairs getting snow clothes on, which did not sound like an event that needed anybody else to get involved because it sounded like there were quite enough people involved in that process. So I was going to come down and work on getting bags sewn for my thing that I've been doing, my hot and fresh thing I've been doing every day because I didn't really necessarily want to go out in the snow. But I see them all out there. There's a lot of snow. I don't know if we're going to get any more snow like this again. So, I think what I'm going to do, what would be the smart thing to do, is go get myself dressed in my snow clothes and go outside for a snow day. Still, my brain does not, does not necessarily want to be doing this, but I feel like Kendra in the future will be glad she did. So, I'm going to do that, and I will probably run a snow day sale today. That is probably what I will do. So, okay, I'm going to go and suit up for snow. And we'll see, maybe today we'll do breakfast, because we haven't done that yet this year, I don't think. You know, the first big snow of the year, we have snow people, pancakes, and yeah, do that whole thing. So, I'm going to go snow suit up. Alrighty, I'm all dressed. Now I have to get my coat, which I took the other day we went to dance. It was not cold enough to wear a coat, but I needed to take it, you know, like in case something happened and we got stuck in the car, blah blah blah. So anyways, it's still in the car. But I am wearing my my Don't Forget to Be Awesome cowl, which is so warm because it's double layer wool and it comes up in front of my face, so it like traps my breath, so that keeps me extra warm. And this is like a cabled hat that I made this winter. I'm wearing last winter, not this winter. I think those are all the yarny things I've got on, but now I gotta go and add a coat and then go see surprised faces that I have ventured out of doors. <sighs> oh, outdoors, the capital O, the outside. Oh yes, yeah, so for those of you, I remember me painting my porch this summer and how I said it was gonna be so, so happy during the winter. Well right now it's all happily covered literally in snow. Look at the little colored parts sticking through. Aren't those fun? Okay, I get my coat on quick because it's pretty cold out here. Steve and a snowball. Okay, catch. You wanna do it again, Kuma? Okay, catch. <laughs> that doesn't work so well with stuff. Whoa. So today is a very important holiday in our household. It is breakfast. 
which is uh, a thing I started when our daughter was like about, oh, is it her first? She mm-hmm. was, was she yeah. one yet? No. She wasn't one her yet. She had winter. started eating pancakes though. She turned one in February. And um, I decided there was a big snow and that we would have breakfast and she could eat with us because she could eat pancakes. And so we made snow people pancakes. And so today I made snow people pancakes. This is Steve's. His is already all dressed up. Powdered sugar for snow. Disgusting raisins for buttons. I can't stand raisins or anything that's touched them. And uh, he made a little smile out of some mini chocolate chips. Now mine has yet to be dressed. I think it's gonna. That be- is naked. Yeah, it's gonna be like super naked because I think I'm just gonna put powdered sugar on mine with the butter and nothing else. But we'll see. Maybe it'll get some some chocolate chips. Don't forget to put the explicit label on now. Oh, because it's naked. Yeah, nudity. Okay, so I also. We had some more, uh, mo- oh, I'm having mimosas. Steve is just having orange juice. But there was uh, this uh, very expensive six forty nine. dollars It was the only champagne that our liquor store had that I bought for my birthday. I had two bottles. We only drank one bottle for my birthday. So we opened the other one for New Year's, but then we only each had a glass. And this one had a, a screw top, fancy, which actually worked. And it's been in the fridge for like over a week. Since the first, that's 10 days. Yeah, over a week with the top on, only having two glasses out, and now I'm having mimosas with it, and it's delightful. Happy breakfast to me. So we are having brunch to celebrate breakfast, because breakfast is a holiday, not a meal. Steve is laughing at me, but these are very important things. And I also provided some entertainment for my family. I did a little uh, song and dance of Fred uh, because Steve and I were talking about it. He pointed out my daughter, who is nine, was the proper age for this. So here was our here was our breakfast entertainment. So this is Fred. Fred can stand on his head. Yay, Fred! Uh oh, Fred's dead. And for any of you that grew up in the '90s, you will have done this yourself. And my daughter said, how long will that stay on your hand? And I don't really know. I've never done this as a grown up. So uh, we'll keep tabs on Fred and his and his dead yeah. and see what happens. But I'm gonna go and eat my naked snow person.